So on our website, we say that one way that you can use FreeDots is in an embedded system. Well, what is an embedded system? What does that mean? So an embedded system is really just a dedicated uh, instance of FreeDots, usually running on some sort of dedicated hardware uh, and probably controlling some sort of external device, like through a program or an application. But you can also have a, an, an embedded system that's basically uh, a dedicated version of FreeDOS that when it boots up, it just runs one application. So let's, let's do that. There's actually two different ways that you can set up FreeDOS to run just one application. Let's take a look. So uh, here I've got uh, FreeDOS 1.3 RC3. And if you can uh, look at my directory, you can see I've got a couple of things here. One, of course, is my autoexec.bat and my config sys. Uh, and also, I've got a directory there called VC that actually contains uh, the VisiCalc application, so just vc.com. Let's set it up so that uh, when FreeDOS comes up, the first thing it does, and the only thing it does, is run uh, VisiCalc. So an obvious way to do that is I could uh, edit my autoexec.bat to just run vc.com. But if we look at my autoexec.bat, uh, you can see I've got a lot of different statements in there that basically is setting up my environment every time I boot FreeDOS. So if we if we uh, were to select everything in here and uh, get rid of it, uh, let's go ahead and have it run the uh, VisiCalc program. So we'll have it run c colon uh, vc and then vc.com. And that's all I'm going to have it do. And there's nothing else in autoexec.bat. I don't need to have any special environment set up in this, it turns out. So I'm just go ahead and uh, just run VisiCalc. Let's go ahead and uh, save this. Uh, and then let's go ahead and reboot. So we'll do uh, FTAPM, uh, warm boot. So this is going to reboot my system. And the first thing it's going to do is bring up the kernel, which is now going to run uh, config sys, which is what you're seeing here is the menu from config sys. And the first thing it's going to do is uh, try to run uh, auto ex uh, the uh, uh, command com. And command com has an autoexec.bat. And the first thing that autoexec.bat, in fact, the only thing that autoexec.bat has to do is to run VisiCalc, which is why we're in VisiCalc right away. So uh, that's one way, one obvious way that you could set up a FreeDOS system to just run one application. But it's not the only way that we can do it. So let's go ahead and get out of this. We'll do slash storage quit and then yes. So what's another way that we can do this? Well, look at that. Uh, that config sys. So if we do a type on that uh, config sys, you can see it's got a bunch of statements that's basically setting up my system. It's uh, loading device drivers and it's establishing my shell. That's the most important one there at the bottom. Uh, these different shell commands. And so shell equals is the is the simplest way to uh, uh, set the uh, uh, the shell, what's called the shell for the system. And normally that's command com, but you can set it to be any program that you want. So let's go ahead and edit uh, config sys. Uh, now I don't have edit my path anymore because that would have been set in my uh, autoexec.bat, which you notice I completely wiped away. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just type in the path for fdos bin edit, and then we're going to load up uh, config.sys. Now, I don't need to have all of this stuff in here, it turns out. So I can go ahead and uh, select everything in that file and then just have it run shell equals c colon uh, vc vc.com. And that's all I need to have in there. And that what that will do is that'll tell the kernel when the kernel starts up, the shell that you're going to run is not command com. It's going to be VisiCalc. And so let's go ahead and exit out of this. And yep, save my file. Uh, and then one more thing, just to make sure that we are doing what we think we're doing, we're going to go ahead and delete the uh, autoexec.bat file. Oops. And so now we know that's not coming into play at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and reboot. And we need to do that uh, with the uh, FDAPM command. But of course, that's no longer my path. So again, we'll do FDOS bin FDAPM warm boot. So the system's going to reboot. It's going to uh, start FreeDOS, and it's going to immediately go into the config sys. Config sys says, 
uh, your shell is going to be VisiCalc, and it immediately runs VisiCalc. Uh, so this is a uh, an easy way to set up an embedded system just by defining the shell. Uh, before I go, there is one limitation on this, and that is uh, this shell really can't exit. Um, if it exits, then you kind of get some weird behavior. So let's go ahead and do uh, slash storage quit yes, and you can see that it's exited that shell and so now it's looking for another shell command line so I can actually type in c colon uh, backslash um, command com and that will start up freecom but uh, typically a permanent shell would not be, be able to exit uh, so that's it for the uh, way that you can set up FreeDOS in an embedded system mode uh, before I go, let me thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I really appreciate all your support. Uh, some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I wanted to thank you here, so thank you very much for that. Visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.